we are going to review mock 4 to tell let's try and put in practice as much as we have learned from the other two mocks that we've done by now most of the areas in terms of study material will have been covered there may be a few new areas that we may have to address from the notes from the study <coughs> But we should try and move fairly quick, considering that this is about the third mock that we are reviewing. So, like we've said before, SBL is a case study. Yes. You cannot read the whole case and then you come back to start answering. you'll be reading almost about five to six pages or so and it's not possible for you to read everything and then remember and come back start addressing so the approach I advise is to tackle it requirement by requirement the introductory is imperative for you to read it and usually the first and the second exhibits will also have to be read because they give you an introductory of the scenario that you'll be addressing. They try to bring into perspective exactly what you are encountering. But again, that's not a hard and fixed rule look at the requirements, the first requirement, see what is being recovered from the exhibit. So let's go to the first requirement. So kindly read requirement A1. I'll keep in emphasizing your presentation is key in you attaining the professional marks. The way you analyze issues in a professional and sober manner will also be key in you attaining these professional marks. And there are not few marks at all, there are quite a lot of marks which cover the professional skills. So let's not ignore that professional presentation. It encompasses a lot. It encompasses things like your headings, paragraphs, how you assemble areas which cover the same topic. Say for example, if you are dealing with ratios, how you bring the, the groups of ratios, i.e. if let's say you are discussing the professional ratios, the profitability ratios, you want to ensure that they are all within one group, with their own heading. When you move to the other ratios, like liquidity, you also want to ensure that they are addressed within the same context. So
the first part there gives you, gives it away for you macro environment factors so <clears throat> you know what model to use for macro environment So let's go and read the introductory. No. Where a question really wants you to use a model, you do well. To use the model, you do well to use the model. You may get marks, not you may, you will get marks, yes, without using the model. But the aim is to maximize your marks so that you can gain enough marks to cross the bridge. <coughs> You just don't want to get marks for the sake of getting marks. You want those marks which will push you across the, the 50 mark. So okay. you want to ensure that you adhere as much as you can to the requirements being asked by the examiner. Okay. So you can start From the beginning of the question, you can read it loud. You are a you are a management consultant working for a consultancy firm based in Falun. Your firm has been commissioned by Tutel to advise them in relation to potential business opportunities. You are part of the team working on the two-tier assignment and you have been asked to prepare a consultancy report for the client as well as advising them on other issues. Tutio is a large mobile network operator and, and reported group revenues of 2.4 million and profits of 400 million in 20x. Its latest financial year, Tutel has grown mainly through significant acquisition both at home and overseas, and it has intensive experience in buying companies and integrating them into, group, into the group. Its chairman and chief executive is Vincent Spark. Who founded the company and had a mobile phone industry? It opened your phones, which operates a network of retail stores and an internet sales division, selling a range of all you, you skipped a line. You skipped a line. Who founded the company? Okay. <clears throat> and has many years' experience in the mobile phone industry. More. <clears throat> it also has subsidiary two tail phones which operates a network of retail stores and an internet sales division selling a range of devices in Pala. Two tail continually in invests in substantial funds. Total commissions and independent report from an external consultant, which consider you will notice from exhibit one that is guiding you to what is being required in requirement one A about the environment analysis. 
So skip and go and read exhibit one. Once you've done reading the exhibit, then you start addressing what model do you use for the macro environment? Pestel. 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 Okay. But it's not always okay before we analyze let's quickly look at pastel what does pastel stand for you can proceed give me what pastel stands for political economic social technology environmental legal when looking at political what are you looking at what are you looking out for as your application from the scenario? Uh, from what I've, from my, what, what I've read politically is usually aligned to the government making decisions. What government decisions are Okay. So you want to look at government policies, not just towards business, but towards the country in general, because we're looking at the environment, businesses are operating within an environment within a country, so it's not just pronouncements which are which affects businesses but pronouncements which affects the country in general you don't only dwell on the pronouncements or the actions by the government you want to also include where necessary if that information is available you also want to bring in any sentiments or pronouncements made by those who are in opposition, opposition political parties. Those also have a bearing on the actions of most businesses. So you want to ensure that all those are also brought into what? <clears throat> They're also brought into into perspective a clear a clear example is what we have experienced in the last couple of years where we saw yes. the government in power trying to make these negotiations with international lenders the international lenders on the other hand pretending as if they really want to negotiate but dragging their feet Okay, diplomatically not approving what the current government or the government policies are, but hoping because of what the pronouncements from the opposition have been, that maybe the opposition will come into power and then we can deal with this other group of people than the current people. So, those sentiments by the opposition extremely important to bring them out as well in your answering. What do you bring out under economics?
how's it? Is the country doing well or have prices gone up? Prices gone down? Okay, there was a bit of a challenge there in the network. Uh, basically, we are looking at <clears throat> issues to do with the economy. We include the inflation rates, the interest rates, exchange rates, uh, and any other economic policies which are in place or which are being proposed. Then we've got social, what, what is covered under social. Okay, the lifestyle, um, there, there are two is one is for economic, one is for what? Environmental. Environmental. Okay, social yes. also co also covers the demographics, isn't it? The, demog the makeup of the demographics, uh, the lifestyle, uh, the age groupings, uh, all those who come under social. Technology will look at anything to do with technology, advancements in technology, any changes in technology which may affect the business. Then the other E looks at the environment, issues to do with green issues, degradation of the environment, um, the recent conference was on what, what on the d recent conference in Glasgow was on um, what were they calling it? Environmental something something to do with green gases. There's one word I'm actually looking for. It I just. Um, what's this famous word to do with the environment? Changes in uh, in temperatures and. Okay, the word has gone, I'll try and remember it. Um, then we've got legal. Which looks at the issues to do with legislation, the laws governing areas like labor laws, um, employment laws, all those who come under um, legislation, especially for where you are investing in a foreign country, you need to be abreast with the legal requirements uh, so that you avoid penalties uh, being in that foreign country. So let's now move on to addressing the scenario this will cover in the second video let me just save this video